All right, so you saw us eat jackfruit. <laughs> we actually ate another one last night with some friends who had also not tried it and they were equally as confused and interested in the fruit as we are. I still really wish we had a deep freezer so that we could freeze it and use it in smoothies or something once I get a blender. It's not the only way you can eat jackfruit. You can also eat it green when it's not ripe yet. And that's what we're gonna try to do today. Make a jackfruit recipe. Pulled pork jackfruit. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds yummy. <laughs> Sounds tasty. <laughs> Um, so I love most things about Samoa. Um, the one thing that I really hate about Samoa are taxi drivers. The other thing that I hate about Samoa are flies. As soon as you go out into the yard, there's flies, flies, flies. That is an old mosquito bite, and there are four flies on it on an old mosquito bite. Look at these things. Get away! Leave me alone! Ah! Even though we hate the flies in our garden, we love having a garden. It has so many amazing things growing in here and we are going to get all of our ingredients for our jackfruit, jackfruit pulled, pulled pork, pork. <laughs> from the garden. So the recipe that we're gonna try is actually right here. It's called barbecue jackfruit sandwiches with avocado slaw. Yep. Yay! So we're going to start with the jackfruit. Here we're we go. Hunting and gathering. Hunting jackfruit. <laughs> All right, we can see the alien pods in there. The great hunter enters the jackfruit tree. I'm mixing Scottish and Australian accents. <laughs> Not very successfully at either of them. The great hunter enters his way into the home of the jackfruit. The alien babies. Samoan camouflage. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, this is, this is huge. <laughs> it's so heavy. Oh, check out this jackfruit. Oh, <laughs> my goodness, this is so big. This thing's got to be like, I don't know, 40 pounds or something. Here's all the latex seeping out. This is a much bigger jackfruit than I thought it was going to be. I mean, like, look, it's literally like half my body. Good job, Nolly Bears. Good job. Give me five. Yes. All right, knuckles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next on the ingredient list is avocados. I can't reach it. Oh. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Girls, hmm? can you grab the herbs from the herb garden, please, for the barbecue jackfruit? Sure. I'm picking oh! salt and pepper. Oh! I'm picking salt, chili, and paprika. Good job, girls. Thank you. Oh. Take him to the kitchen. I know you showed me your affection, but I was looking for perfection. So I moved on and on and on to someone new. Follow me all the way. No one knew what Let's go I pick the carrots, Nolan Good job, Nolan Pierce. Good job gardening, Ammo. <laughs> Banjo, can you grab some cabbage from the cabbage patch? Sure. <sighs> nice and ripe. So we've gathered all of the ingredients for our jackfruit pulled pork sandwiches. The first step in getting the jackfruit is to kill it. Ugh. That's a good kill. I know you think I'm just pretending And that I can't rely Then 
instructions we read online said just need to cut it into chunks and then boil it. So that's what we're doing. It's a little different than what we did before um, when we were cutting it to eat it. Mom, you're gonna. I'm gonna suck up. You're gonna get sticky, Mom. Oh, we can wash it. I need a cloth. I'm just saying you're gonna get sticky. Oh. I'm a little nervous for how this is gonna turn out. Like, I really hope we really love it because we have a tree with like 5,000 pounds of jackfruit on it. I want to love it, and I'm nervous that I'm not gonna love it, but I hope I love it. <laughs> I hope I love it. So I'm kind of cutting out the center here a little bit because it takes up a lot of space, and so hopefully by cutting out the center we can fit more jackfruit into the pot that we're cooking in. So that's why we're just kind of making them into little chunks like this. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chunks for half of the jackfruit. I think we'll probably be able to fit like six of these, maybe eight of them in our pot, which I think is like a 10 quart pot or something like that. So let's boil them for 45 minutes and see what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> got this recipe off of a website that said that vegans think that this jackfruit tastes like pulled pork and just from what I feel I feel like vegans don't know what pulled pork actually tastes like so we'll see but I'm sure that if I just I don't know how much jackfruit we have compared to what this recipe uses. She used canned jackfruit. So I don't really know if I need to make more seasonings in this. So I just did one batch of the seasonings that she said. And we'll mix it all up and see if we need to add some more seasonings. You coat all the jackfruit in the seasonings before you saute it. So we're getting closer. So that lady lied. Because she said that this was like a 30 minute prep thing or something. It's been like four hours. Because she cheated and she used cans. Not me, I cut it from the tree. So Joe thinks it needs more seasonings. I'm not sure. I don't really want to taste it raw to determine flavor. So I'm going to cook it like this. And then if it needs more seasonings, I'll add some more of the spice mixture that she recommends. So we'll see how that goes. I'm nervous. I hope it's good. I really want it to be good. So this is the part where they say that you kind of shred the jackfruit so that it, like you're pulling the pork. And? I don't know, vegans. <laughs> you guys are missing out on pulled pork sandwiches. I just don't think that, I mean, it's just, it's like breaking apart. It doesn't like pull apart like pork does. It's almost like a potato. That's what it feels like, is like a potato. And maybe it's different because we're using a fresh jackfruit instead of the recipe that we saw. They were using um, canned jackfruit. It's obviously different using a real jackfruit. I think the end result is gonna be still really good. It's just not pulled pork. It's just, it's full pork. Anything that he thinks is not the traditional real way to eat something, he puts an F in front of it. Like my ranch dressing he calls ranch or Fred for bread or fees for cheese. And now this is fooled pork. <laughs> Closest thing we could find to American style barbecue sauce. It looks kind of like Sweet Baby Ray's and it's called Sweet and Spicy. So it tastes pretty good. It is pretty spicy. It says to thin it with water to make more of a sauce, like to cover everything. So that's what we did. We're adding it.
So, finished product. We have the pulled barbecue jackfruit on there. We got the coleslaw on there. Um, and we added some Fritos here just for a little bit of side crunch. And you don't want to accidentally make a gross face? Moment of truth. It just like all ran away from you. Mm hmm. Pretty good. To me, it doesn't have the texture of pulled pork, but it is actually really good. The thought of what jackfruit does is that it absorbs flavors, and it did really absorb the barbecue flavor, and it also absorbed the seasonings that we got out of our herb garden. The salt, and the pepper, the paprika, the garlic, you know, all those things that we grew by ourselves and we found in the, in the herb garden. But anyway, we're gonna go finish it up and finish this pot because we're probably gonna have to cook some more tomorrow because this is actually pretty good. Let's just not call it pulled pork. Let's just call it pulled jackfruit barbecue special. Pulled jackfruit barbecue special. <laughs> jackfruit Joe. That's right. Would it be good as tacos? Uh -huh. Different seasonings? I just finished eating the sandwich. Would I pay for this sandwich at a restaurant? The answer is no. I myself would never ever pay to eat that sandwich. That said, if you can't have pork for some reason, if you really have religious objections or some like moral objection to eating pork and you have the chance to eat this concoction, you definitely, definitely should have it. It's really delicious. It really does because it takes on all the spices and stuff. It's really a great sandwich to go after. That said, um, our neighbors heard what we were trying to do over here and heard that we were slaving for like four hours to do this and they brought us plan B. Giordano's pizza. We want food. I want to see it. They love us. Thank you so much, Lama and Samantha Manu. Papa Tai, Tele Lava. So I just ate my sandwich and I think it's delicious. I would totally pay money for it, especially as a healthy alternative. Jackfruit is really, really healthy. If I had access to the sauces I like in the States, that I don't have access to here, I think it would be amazing. The sauce here is a nice flavor, but it's a little too spicy. It's a little too spicy for the girls to eat. I want to try it as tacos with like taco flavors and definitely jackfruit winner winner, jackfruit dinner tonight. But it is a little spicy for the girls, so they're not loving the spice, but that's because of the barbecue sauce that we picked. Yeah, I live in a family of carnivores, but I appreciate this a lot. And oh, I think maybe with curry, like as a curry could be good. All kinds of possibilities. Try it. All totaled together, it was about maybe five tala, including like the little bit of barbecue sauce that we used. Um, the avocados we got from here. So everything was about five tala, which is um, about $2. So considering that this meal cost us two bucks, this is like the best meal that we've had in Samoa as far as I'm concerned. If you enjoyed making jackfruit pulled jackfruit, please subscribe, leave us a comment about your experiences with jackfruit and how sticky you get and how much you love it and give us a big thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, see ya, bye.